All right, this is a Honeywell Pro 3000 digital non-programmable thermostat. This one has 24 volts AC that can be powered with at the LCD display or two 1.5 volt AA batteries up top here. Right, so we're gonna open it up. All right, this time what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be powering a heat pump. So you wanna make sure that this set switch is actually on electric or heat pump. Right. With this thermostat, if you're going to use it for a heat pump instead of a furnace, you have the 24 volts coming in, it's actually 24 to 28 volts coming in to the RC and the R, okay? They can stay together, jumper together, since it's one system that this thermostat is powering. All right, so that's power coming in, or red, okay, or 24 volts. What happens is you have 24 volts coming in, it'll power the LCD display right here. And then it goes back out through a completed circuit on the C if you wire that up with the blue wire. Okay, you don't have to do that if you have the batteries in the back of the faceplate. All right, I would recommend hard wiring it though because the batteries need to change them at least once a year and you want good, good batteries as well with them. All right, so uh, we got. R and C are done. What we're looking for is then for the fan, you have 24 volts coming in, and if you turn the fan on your thermostat from auto to on, then G will be the signal wire at the air handler to tell the air handler to uh, turn the fan on. Okay, so 24 volts comes into R, goes through the thermostat, comes back out the G terminal, and back out through the green wire to the air handler telling the fan to turn on. If you leave it on auto on the thermostat and you just turn this to cool, all right, and then you press the temperature down, power wire will come in, R, 24 volts. It'll connect to the Y, all right, and it'll go to the uh, air handler and then subsequently to the compressor as well. Now, if you've seen any of the other videos, I've told you to save this little jumper. Okay, you can also make it out of an 18 gauge wire as well. It's nice to hit it, hit something, hit the wire down with a hammer to kind of flatten it out like this one is. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to slip that in here. Okay, because now that this is a heat pump that we're powering with this thermostat, then we want to go ahead and connect the Y and yellow together on this particular thermostat only. All right, so that's done, all right? 24 volts comes in, cooling is called, it comes back out the Y, and that goes uh, to the air handler. As well, at the same time, 24 volts comes in and it goes out the O as well, which is orange wire, to the air handler. So it does both of those during cooling on most heat pumps, all right? If you were to turn the heat on, 24 volts comes in the R, and this time it does not power the reversing valve. It just 24 volts comes in and it goes back out the Y and W to the air handler uh, and then also out to the compressor in the heat pump and you're just going to have heat running. All right. Most reversing valves will power, well, if, you, if you power them then what will happen is the cooling will occur. All right. If you do not power the reversing valve, then that'll be the heat that turns on instead. All right. So O is the reversing valve. Let's just go over the color code here. Uh, so Y and W in this case is going to be yellow. All right. And that is the compressor. G is green and that's fan. O that is orange and that is the reversing valve on most heat pumps. All right. R and RC is red, that's 24 volts coming into the thermostat. B is actually a reversing valve as well, but this is on Rudin and Ream. Um, that's the only two that I'm familiar with that uh, powers the reversing valve backwards uh, of other manufacturers. All right. C is uh, blue, all right, and that's the path back. That's common, okay? So once again, just to recap, if you were going to turn the cooling on, 24 volts comes in the R, and then 
in the thermostat, it connects to the O and the Y slash W, and it powers both of those, all right, turning cooling on. If you were to turn heat on only, uh, it's going to have, it's going to be 24 volts comes in, and then you're going to connect in the thermostat, and it's going to come out the Y slash W, okay? That's on most units. Once again, this B will be the reverse on a router ream, all right? You would need to uh, power this for uh, for heat, okay? And for cooling, it would not be powered. All right, so that's it. Hope you enjoyed yourself. This is acservicetech.com.